Lurker Lurking guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. <laughs> We've been on the ball with it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new to my channel, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I missed you guys. I'm glad that you are back for another one. Another one. DJ Khaled. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know why that popped up in my head, but anyway. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a story time as to what made me move to the United States of America. My face is not looking that great and I'm not looking bad. I needed to talk to you guys, you know what I'm saying? Can't just leave you hanging. So, we gotta do what you gotta do. So, <laughs> before we get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, turn on the post notifications so that you know when I post a new video. Or else, you'll just be left in the background like... But, <laughs> let's get straight into it. Yeah, get into it! So, the reason behind me moving to the United States of America from South Africa... To be exact um for those who don't know is because i've always wanted to live here like you know growing up seeing on tv you see america and you're just like oh i want to visit there i want to go there i want to live there just because of what you see on tv like tv sells us a lot of dreams i'm not gonna say that it doesn't live up to the expectation of what they show on tv but most of the time, TV makes uh, things more than what they are. Oh, that's right. But my family actually came to America. We went to Walt Disneyland in Florida, Orlando, Florida. And there was like 24 of us, I think, or maybe even a little bit more. But we came on vacation and we were here like during the 4th of july so you know the energy is high everything so nice i was 16 at the time turning 17 the following year and it was amazing i always knew that i wanted to come back not specifically to florida but i knew that i wanted to live in the states because even just on that trip i was telling my family i was like oh can't you just pretend that you lost me like that you forgot me somewhere at one of the team box because i don't want to go home that was when our trip was close to ending so when we came my cousins and i are all more or less in the same age bracket so keep in mind we were all like from the age of 16 up to like 18 19 so we made the most of that trip let me tell you it was so nice the food was so nice the services was amazing amazing the vibes were immaculate <laughs> no, i'm joking but they were nice um we stayed at one of the disney resorts because that was all included in our trip i'm not sure how much the fa was and stuff because everything that needed to be done <laughs> but that was an amazing trip especially because during the 4th of july since that's like a big holiday in america and it's the summertime everybody was out and about you were meeting people from different countries so it was just a good vibe it was a great vibe and i'm so grateful for my grandparents actually bringing us to the states because they would always say growing up oh one day we're gonna take all of the grandchildren to disney world and then every year another grandchild was born so that like just put a hole in our trip but i feel like when we did go it was the perfect timing it was the perfect time of year everything was just great but the one tiny little thing that i didn't enjoy about the holiday like towards the end of it we went to one of the theme parks called Epcot and it was on the 4th of July. So you must know everybody is there, it's crazy, it's packed. So by the time that we got there, we were going to see the fireworks. 
when we got there everybody's wristbands was working except for mine and i'm like it was working at every other park like <laughs> why is it not working now all of a sudden oh well, guys wristband, or not even the wristband my information and my baby cousin jeremiah's information got mixed up he was small and no he wasn't one i think he was older he was yeah he was older but he was small he was still small fairly small and yeah they were like jeremiah and caitlin's details got switched around so jeremiah is 16 and caitlin's an infant i'm like oh baby no nah, that ain't gonna work make it make sense i was so mad because once they did get everything sorted out my brother and my aunties and my uncles and my cousins were all teasing me because by the time we got in everybody was walking out so we already missed like everything so it's like what's the point so i was so upset because i felt like the blame was all on me even though it wasn't my fault and my brother was like oh look at the little infant's legs she can't walk for us because she's a baby she's supposed to be getting pushed in a stroller we call it a pram but yeah i was so so upset but i eventually got over it like i let them tease me and we laughed about it we still laugh about it up until now and then um when we got back my cousins and i and my brother were all like hey we got nothing else to do let's go do ding dong let's go do let's go play ding dong ditch so we love okay now at the resort there's a bunch of foreigners like there's americans and stuff but because it was summertime a lot of people were on summer camp and foreign exchange students were everywhere so there was people from brazil from spain from south africa from well we were from south africa and then like a bunch of other countries and in that time <laughs> of us playing ding dong ditch it was so funny because there was one man that was like in a bad mood and him and his wife were walking to their room and they saw us running and then <laughs> my cousin always ran into them by accident and he was like yo what's up but he knew that we didn't mean anyone and we also met two, two amazing guys one's name was lee i forgot his friend's name but lee is like a big tiktoker now he has a youtube channel you should go and subscribe to his youtube channel it's lee the fourth but he didn't ask me to do that <laughs> i'm just doing it to do it but it was so much fun like i really enjoyed that trip and that's when i knew that i always wanted to come back to america i said california specifically and when i first came to america like after us coming on our family trip i got a host family in atlanta and i was like but i want to live in california then i was writing the pros and cons i was like oh maybe it's not meant to be at that time and then when the time came for me to come to atlanta when i got there i fell in love and i was like i don't even need to go to california it's okay i love it yeah the people are so friendly um there's so much to do the public transport is amazing like it was just so much fun but when i did get to california i was also in love <laughs> so i was caught between the two i feel like atlanta will always have my heart because it's where i first lived and so california but you know my friends are still in california and i miss them so much but yeah i got to see a lot of the states which i'm so happy about and i'm not even done just yet there's no more to come and when i go traveling i will obviously take you guys with me because we're a team you know i can't just leave it at home like that's not what we do y'all but <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this video that was just like a little bitty story time not too much not too extra but i think that i'm gonna start posting twice a week now let me know what you guys think but 
if you also have any ideas any video ideas anything that you want to see just let me know and we'll make it happen because we do it over here we make things happen so that everybody's happy but i hope that you like comment and subscribe once again and that you enjoy this video we will be back with some more because we on a ball right now but i will see you guys in the next video mm, 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 mm. could you catch my vibe if i could match your style i see you